in this video, we're going to respond to this comment here uh, that I've recently noticed I have on my video, how to change text colors. Now this is using Elementor within WordPress. And what we have here is somebody asking how to color just one word separately in Elementor. Now I'm not sure if that means uh, simply within a heading or in a body of text, but let's look at a few solutions that anybody with the free version of Elementor would have. So here we are at uh, an old version of, of my homepage at imchrisgood.com and we are going to use this as a bit of a playground. So we would like to change one word within either a heading or a body of text. So if we select an element, uh, so let's select this heading here and usually anything to do with visual changes and style, we would go to the style tab here in the Elementor interface and we would have text color. But as you can see, but as you can see, if we change this, we're, we're going to change the color of the entire text body. So this element here does not allow us to just simply change one word. Um, if we go along to the, uh, to try and isolate a word, it gives us no further options. But let's have a look down at this body of text here. And this is not using a heading element. This is actually the, the text editor. So if we go along to the content and we will notice that we have all of these options, such as in a Word document that you might see on Google Docs or a Word um, processor or pages for the Mac. Um, if you don't see all of these, click on toolbar toggle. And what you'll notice is that we have this here, text color and lots of other options which you can explore. Uh, let's say we would like to create a bit more focus on free quick start website. Okay, so we've selected that in the text editor and then we select text color and try and find something that would stand out well against the background. Now that doesn't do that very well, but why don't we try a blue? Now that's rather striking. I think I would like to stick with that. And so using the text editor element in Elementor, what we've actually been able to do is change uh, just one word or three words, but not the entire uh, element, element's color. So we've achieved our goal there. What we could do also is that if we are wanting to create a heading with this, we, we can actually go to heading one, or of course, heading two and heading three. And this would use the default settings that you've set up within your uh, template or theme in order to, to style the, the heading. But you see it retains that color uh, differentiation. So we've achieved that. However, if we go along to the style tab, you'll notice that we're unable to affect the style with the style tab. And the reason for that is because this is selected as a header. If we were, however, to change it back to paragraph, well, you can see we're already using the changes we've made in that style tab. So let's have a look at this, shall we? We'll bring that back down to um, say 18. And we would like to create a more striking version of this header. And we will use this text editor to do that. So let's just swipe this over here, get that out of the way and we'll pretend that's not there. And let's duplicate this. Great. Now let's change the content. So we go along to the content tab here and let's retype this heading. Get your business online today. Now, obviously that's a bit too small. So we would like to make online stand out. So let's select the word, go to text color and select that blue. Now, because we haven't selected a heading, we can actually use the style tab to increase the size. Let's put it at 70 and we could change the font if we would like, if we have a particular heading font. And well, we might want to change the, the weight. That's not going to add any more on this occasion, um, but we would like it uppercase and we Definitely need to bring that line height down. And if we increase the size again, there we go. Now it's not using a heading element, but it is achieving a nice effect and, and we're able to style it using this tab. And, and 
change the, the color of just one word. So you can see there that using the text editor, we're actually able to make rather striking headings uh, and, and a bit of focus in our, in our body of text without having to get a different heading plugin or, or something like that. Okay, so that's how to very easily change the color of one word, either in some headings or in a body of text. If you're interested in a few more solutions or something more to play around with, let's have a quick look at that. Um, but the rest of you are allowed to go. Uh, so let's have a look in the elements and uh, look at heading. So we've got the dual color heading here and we've got fancy text. Now both of these are from Essential Add-ons for Elementor. Uh, now this is free and you can, you can download that for free. But let's just see what we have here. Now immediately you can see that this now immediately you can see that this heading element is all about having a different color on a heading. The only downside with this is that it's going to be before or after, so you can only choose one. We wouldn't be able to make the word heading a different color from dual and example. But you can see that we have um, dual heading and dual heading. So this is the first part of the title. Um, and then we have example here which relates to this. So that's title first part and title last part. If we go to the style, uh, we can look at the color and typography and we see that differentiation. It's not called the same thing, but you can see, see what relates to what. So this one is obviously example. And let's use some global colors, which won't look good, but Nevertheless, it's a good example. But you can see that we're able to use this heading uh, plugin, this heading element as a way to change the color of just one word. And of course, in this one, we have some other content to play with, such as the icon, which we could delete. Um, and then we can also uh, play around with this text here. Um, but that, this video is not about that heading plugin. As a last little look, let's look at fancy text. And again, this is an essential add-ons element. And you can see here that we have uh, some some funky titling here. And oh, that's that's a pro version. But this is this is the free version. And we have some different animation types. So you can see that it's bringing in those strings and we can apply different uh, effects to it. There we go. And um, what does the swing do? Absolutely fantastic. So this is not just about um, color at the moment, but you can see that, um, that there are lots of different things that we're able to do uh, using Elementor. So just so that you can see, we're again, we're, we're changing lots of different um, elements of a title and of course if we'd like to make that a little bit more more bold look at that how fantastic is that effect and this is the free version of that plugin so if you'd like to play around with uh, some more headings and text effects or isolate just one or two or three words with a different color those are some options that you can use and if you really want to get fancy then I would suggest you take uh, take a look at the fancy text element that you can get from uh, essential add-ons for Elementor. Okay, thank you. I hope you found that video useful and please do subscribe if you'd like to get more Elementor and WordPress tips. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.